Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to play exercise number 10 from Machoni's book 100 Progressive Studies. Let's start with our right hand on treble C, which is an octave above middle C. And what we're going to do is make a C triad, but with fingers 1, 2, and 3, and our fifth finger is going to play that higher C. If you have trouble reaching all four notes at one time, that's quite all right, because we're going to play them one at a time. But I just want to show you what sort of pattern it makes on the piano, and then it makes up a big C chord. These are your first four measures. Followed by B, not with finger four though, with finger three. Four, three, two, three, four, four. Going to G on your thumb. A, F with three, one. C, A with five, three. G, E, two, one. And then C, G, five, three. F, D with two, one. C, E with three, one. C, E with two, four going to B, D with one, three. The left hand, we're going to start right up at middle C with a C triad for four measures in a row. Moving two fingers four, two, and one on D, F, G for two measures. Back to our C chord for two measures. Now going to our F chord, which is C, F, A. Back to our C. G for one measure, B, D, G, back to C, And because this has the tempo marking Allegro Molto, which is very fast, I'm going to play this once again, but faster. moving to our second half, which is twice the length. We're going to look at only half of the second half at the moment, but this is the part of the second half that is different. Let's start with B and D with fingers 1, 2. E, G with 3, 5. C, E with 1, 3. And B, D with 2, 4. A, C with 1, 3. And all of these fingers should be right above the correct notes when you play two, one, three, two, four, three, five. And land back at two, four at the next line. Playing the same notes now with one, two. This time when you play B, D, play it with fingers one, two instead of two, four. I'll explain why this is different in just a moment. Then A, F sharp with one, four. B, G with one five, C, A with one five, back to A, F sharp with one four, and B, G with one five.
Now the difference in those two lines where you played BD with 2, 4 and played BD with 1, 2 was because of what happened next. When we played 2, 4, the following notes were A and C with 1, 3, so it made sense to move our fingers over. In the second line, we see after the BD, we go to AF sharp, which we're closer to the correct fingers by coming from 1, 2. If you were in 2, 4, there's a big jump to go with that 4 over to the a, F sharp. Now for the left hand. For the first four measures, we're just going to keep on repeating G, and you could play all of them with your thumb. Then D, F sharp with 2, 4. Reaching down to G, up to F sharp, G, F sharp, G. The second line starts the same way. D with three for one measure. D with two for one measure. Reach down to G, up to F sharp, G, F sharp, G, F natural, E, D. set of measures begins the same way we did in the first half. Except for the last four measures which are different. In the right hand we're going to go over to EG with three and five. Then D, F with 2 and 4, C, E with 1, 3, crossing over to B, D with 2, 4, and the final C with the middle finger. Now I'm going to play for you the whole exercise beginning to end with the repeats. enjoyed this tutorial on Cherney's exercise number 10 from his book 100 Progressive Studies. Be sure to hit that like button for me. It really does help me out a whole lot and subscribe to my channel so you're always aware of more content just like this.